Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to recreate the whole look that I wore to a glam birthday party I went to which I posted a picture of on my Instagram a couple months ago. So this will be a get ready with me makeup, hair and outfit. Since quite a few of the girls from my Instagram love this look, I decided to show you all how I achieved it. As always, I'm starting off with applying moisturiser and also applying eye cream which is a part of my everyday routine since the weather is getting colder, I do want to avoid dryness. For foundation, I'm using the All Nighter Foundation by Urban Decay which I've been loving a lot lately and I only need one pump to get a full coverage. But the only downside is that this foundation oxidises quickly so I do recommend getting a lighter shade. A dust of rain fall in the evening The waves crash down and we feel them Say here's to the nights we steal them To fill in my brows, I'm using this brow definer by NYX The more I slow down, the less I get out And if we fall, let's be strong now Moving along, we don't mind, we don't mind And then to clean the edges of my brows, I'm using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. As usual, for my eyeshadow base, I'm using this one by NYX and then using a powder to set it in place. So it was this Morphe 35 taupe palette that inspired me to create a cool toned taupe makeup look which I don't usually do, I usually go for warm tones but this time I wanted to try something different. So I'm just blending the light brown shade into my crease with a blending brush. And then using a pencil brush I'm taking the purple shade and adding that into my crease. To clean up the harsh lines, I'm just going back in with the blending brush to blend it all out. And then to neutralize the purple, I'm adding the greyish taupe shade into my crease with the same pencil brush. And then to create the cut crease look, I'm using the same concealer and flat brush I used earlier to cut the crease. I'm just winging it out to create the winged out cut crease look. I'm taking this taupe shimmer shade and just patting that onto my eyelids using a flat brush. As always, for the winged eyeliner, I'm using my go to liquid liner from Soap and Glory. And then to line my waterline, I'm just using this liner by NYX. For the lashes, I wore the Monaco Lashes by Lily Lashes which I've worn so many times and after all the uses it still looks wearable. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer which is my favourite concealer for highlighting and brightening under the eyes and as usual I'm going to let that sit there for a minute before blending it to get that full coverage. So while I'm waiting I'm just fixing my brows with the brow gel to make it stay in place. So I'm just using patting motions to blend out my concealer with my fingers. Set the concealer, I'm using the Ben Nye Banana Powder and as usual I'm adding that to the sides of my nose to get that contoured nose look without using a contour shade. September. She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now If I could eliminate ourselves To bronze up and contour my face I'm using the contour and blush palette from Sleek To live fine, to live fine A little sunshine cause she need A dose of rainfall in the evening The waves crash down and we feel them 
the nights we steal them and i'll be running cuz i figured out the more i slow down the less i get out and then to smoke out my lower lash line i'm using this dark taupe shade from the palette for the highlight i'm taking the frosty purple shade to go with the whole cool tone makeup look using the cleopatra kiss highlighting palette by sleek And yes, you guessed it, for the lip liner, I'm using the same old NYX lip liner in the shade Urban Cafe. I'm using NYX's Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Honeymoon, which is a pretty taupe shade. Something completely out of my comfort zone, but it goes with the whole taupe look and I just love how it turned out. To set my makeup in place, I'm using the Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics. For the hairstyle, I decided to go for a sleek back ponytail and added this clip-in ponytail from Hair Rehab London. The outfit that I wore is from opoly.com. I had a few people ask me about the size that I got. The dress is a size 8 and the coat is a size 6. And to get that red carpet glow for the legs, I applied this rose gold body radiance by Melanie Mills Hollywood. And for the heels, I wore these gold strappy heels from Public Desire, which I love, but I had to take it off halfway. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.